Assalamu alaikum. Good morning to you all and welcome back again to our tutorial on Firebird Database Management System. In this tutorial, you are going to see how to create user account, how to assign privilege to user, how to edit or modify user database, and others. First of all, we have to locate our database in our system, that is Firebird Database Management System. To locate, we are going to use the code, that is cd, to change the directory, then cd program file, You check to see where your Firebird is installed. For me, my own is in program files. Maybe your own will be in program files x86. Then you locate it. Then cd Firebird. Then cd Firebird. That is the version of the database for, for me my own is two four in five for our own will be two or one then you change to bin that is where you run the command line um gsec for you to create user account firebird we well, are going to use the utility provided by the database and uh, Firebird database management system called GSEC. GSEC is used to allow you to create user account in Firebird management system. You log in use this um, GSEC using the default username of database that is sysdba. Put user sys dba and password must take it by default without semicolon you press enter yes then for you to create the account you type add that is add user then the username for example, let's say Guani, then you give it the password. Password, you type FW for password. Then you put, let's say, Malam. You can put any character in password, either combination of alphabet and numbers or alphabet only, but only eight character eight alphabet from the first will be used as password that is when you put the string that has greater length than eight it will take only the first eight then you put f name that is the first name Let's say malam m name that is middle name Last name, that is L name. Then you press enter. Yes, you have created one user account. You can use this flare code to see the account you have created. Display. Yes, we have two accounts. First is the sysdba, that is the default account for the Firebird management, database management system and the one we have created at the Gwani with the name Mala Abubakar Gwani then we exit the GSEC after that you run the ISQL command line that will allow you to create database or connect to the database that you have before then you create a role for the user which will allow you to assign privilege to the user. Let's type ISQL. 
sorry i s q l yes use connect or create database to specify a database let us create another database create data base and you specify the name of database you see let's see when you start way sorry before the name of database you specify, you specify the facts where you want to place our database or where you want to locate your database you put single quote single then let's say c let's go to user let's give the name of the database wani software dot fdb that is the extension of the database the extension by convention is fdb but you can use any extension either sql tst anyone you wish then Press enter. You specify the username. Sys D B A. Password. Master key. Then submit column. Okay. data this Database has been created. Then now we are going to create a table on database. table then we give the table name let's see tutorial and you open normal bracket you specify the field in the table let's say first id data type int that is integer not null that is it cannot be empty then let's say name another field data type batcher then we specify the length of the field. Let's say 30. Second one, that one. Let's say email. Then we give it data type as batcher. 
say 30 then close the bracket and with semicolon then press enter yes our table has been created let's try inputting inserting data into our table insert into tutorial Insert into the values. Say one for the ID. Then the name. Say Yusuf S. Hamza. Then email address by S Hamza. Try to retrieve our data. Select all from tutorial. Yes, we have one data in our database. Mm -hmm. Then now we are going to see how to create free player to the user. First of all, we are going to type create role. Then we specify the name of the run. Let's say F admin, that is best admin. Then we semicolon. Yes. Then we grant, we assign the privilege to the user. Let's assign privilege to insert and select. Then we say on, that is on our on the table we want we wish to assign the program to the user. Yes, the table is total real. Then we say to our role, that is F admin. Then we press enter. Then we say grant the role F the role F admin. To, to the user we have, we have created the account for that is um Gwani. yes Gwani. and we are say, say grand first admin to Gwani. And with semicolon, press enter. Yes, we have created um, role first admin, and we assign the privilege for him to insert and select data into the, our database table and um, table tutorial. Then now we are going to check to see whether the role has been assigned to him or not. We type the code show grant. Yes. We have granted insert and select on tutorial to roll admin. And we have granted, I'm um, sorry, first admin. And we have granted first admin to the user, Gwani. Now, we are going to exit from the SQL and run again. Is it say white? Yes, then we run again, SQL. Okay. ISQL. Now we are going to connect to our database using the username Guani and his password. Then we say connect and we specify the facts of the database. See. Users. 
स्लैश उन्नीस सौ छः डॉट एफ टी पी प्रेस इन चाहे इन यूज़ आने हैं सेव वनी पासवर्ड से मालूम देन डिरोल Yes, we are connected to our database Goni software dot fdb with username Goni and the role admin. Now, let's try to insert data into the table. Insert into tutorial name values. data you can select all from tutorial yes we have but I must allege how much now let's try to delete the um, data from our uh, table delete from tutorial where id is equals to one yes say no permission for delete or write access to table tutorial because when we are assigning the free blade to the user we say you can only insert or select data from the database but you cannot delete or update data in the database that is we assign him only to insert and retrieve the data from our table in our database. That is how you can assign free blades to your user. You can create multiple users in the, in the private and you can assign them different privilege. Okay, with this we have come to, our, uh, to the end of our tutorial. Thank you all, wish you all the best.